Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to get shaders for T-Launcher. Now I'm going to be doing it for the Minecraft version 1.21, as at the moment that is the latest version for Octavine. So yes, we do need Octavine for this to work. So simply come to this website just here, a link in the description down below, to Octavine. And here we can click on preview versions just here, so click on that. And here what we want to do from here is select on the top one just here, the mirror. So select on that. Now once this loads, you might have to click on the download button just there, so click on that again. Now that is downloading. We're also going to want a shader pack as well, so I will leave another link in the description down below to this website. And here we can download any shader pack we want, as long as we are doing it for the Minecraft version 1.21. So on here, we've got a bunch of shaders we can choose from. It's literally loads. But for me, I'm going to use the top one just here, uh, BLS shaders here. So that is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to select on this one just here. So select that. On this page here, just click on the uh, versions just here. Click on that. And on here, as we can see, all the game versions they do support for the new shaders. As you can see here, it does work for Optivine. So simply from here, just click on the download green button just here. Click on that button just there. Now that is downloading as well. So now I'm actually on my desktop. What we're going to want to do from here is actually go down to our downloads folder. So here it is just here. So simply from here, just drag these files out onto your desktop. Close your downloads folder away. And as you can see here, we have got our shaders, which is this top one just here. And we've got our Optivine just here. Now, very important is make sure you do have a coffee mug in here. If you don't have a coffee mug in here, you will need to download Java. And I do have a new updated video on that, which I will leave a link on the screen and also in the description down below so you can see a new updated video. And if you have got Java installed and you still can't see this coffee mug, what you might have to do is actually right click on this file, click on open with, then click on Java just here. So you might have to do that if you can't see the coffee mug. But for me, I'm just double click on it as I can see the coffee mug just there. So double click on this file just here. So simply from in here, we can now install Optivine. So click on the install button just here. So click on that. And as you can see, I'm actually getting a warning just here. So if you're getting this warning, it's actually very easy to fix. So simply head over to your T Launcher and load up your Minecraft version 1.21. Now, as I don't have T Launcher downloaded, I'm actually going to do it on my normal Minecraft. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So what you're going to want to do if you're on T Launcher, you will have to head over to your releases or your game versions and just select the Minecraft version 1.21. But if you have the actual Minecraft launcher, what you're going to want to do is actually head up to the top here, installations, then create a new installation. And in here, in the versions, we actually need to check the Minecraft version 1.21. So we need to look for this down in here. So here we go, just here. So click on the releases just here, 1.21, click on that. And then simply click on create. Now what we need to do is actually load up this file just here. So click on play. And this will be the same thing in T-Launcher. So if you've got your Minecraft version 1.21, simply click on the play button in the middle. And then from there, you should be able to load your Minecraft version up. So once your Minecraft's loaded up, simply just come down to the bottom and click on quit game. So now once you've done that, you can now try loading up Optivine again. So double click on Optivine and click on install. And as you can see just here, we have now got Optivine installed. Now click on OK on that. Now we can get rid of this Optivine. We do not need that no more. So get rid of that. Now to install our shaders just here for T-Launcher, what we need to do is actually head down to our search. Now in your search, simply just type in run. So type in run, and as you can see just here, click on this one right here, click on that, and you will get a little file icon like this. So simply in here, search in percent, app data percent, and click on OK. Then once you do that, it will load up these files just like this. Now what we're looking for is actually our .minecraft just here, so double click into the .minecraft, and in here, what we need to do is actually look for this shader pack folder. So down here we've got the shader packs. So look for that and double click into here. Now in here, what we need to do is just drag in this file, just like that. Now once you've done that, click on the X button. Now once you've done that, head over to your team launcher and make sure you have got your Optivine selected for Minecraft version 1.21. Now once that is selected, simply just run up the game. Now once your Minecraft is loaded, as you can see, we've got no shaders installed. Simply click on the uh, escape key and click on to options. Then in video settings, then in here, click on the shaders. As you can see here, we've got our shaders here. Select it. Now, this might take a little bit to load. Now, once that's loaded, click on done. Then escape. As you can see here, we have now got our shaders installed. And this should be working perfectly fine for T-Launcher. So if this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like on it. And if you need any help, be sure to check out my Discord. I should be able to help you out in there. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. If you have, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video.